Hi, I'm Matthew Trevin. I run the military department here at CNT Auctioneers and Valuers. Today I'm just going to talk you through some World War I German items that we have coming up in our auction on the 18th of October. First item I'm going to talk about today is this rather wonderful uh, World War I German officer's helmet, uh, pickleball helmet from the Hanoverian Regiment. Standard Prussian style eagle helmet plate but with the additional Waterloo scroll. Helmet has wonderful officer's cockades and scale chin strap. Helmet is complete with the leather sweatband to the interior and the cloth lining. Helmet comes with the original officer's pattern field trench cover, which again, very rare to find officer's helmets in the Panavarian Regiment. Next item I'm going to show you today is this World War One German NCO's pattern field grey field cap. Now a nice example for the state of Prussia with a red central band of red piping, state and national cockades, original strap and peak. The interior of the cap you can see has the remains of the leather sweat band and the cloth lining. The cap does so show some wear but this is a very typical World War I trench warm cap. The next thing I'm going to talk about is this Imperial German M17 camouflage steel helmet. Now standard pattern, uh, what they call that, refers to the coal scuttle helmet, but nicely with this one it has the original camouflage paint finish. And the idea with this paint finish was this was so it blended in with the surroundings of the Western Front. Unfortunately the helmet doesn't have its three pad liners, but it does still retain the original metal band from the M17. And again, nicely stamped inside, you can just see remains of a uh, details of possibly the original owner of the helmet. Uh, very nice, very popular collectors now, these, these camouflaged helmets, and they don't turn up as often as they used to. During World War I, it was very popular for the uh, Allied soldiers to take souvenirs from their captors. Uh, one of the often things referred to are these items called hate belts. Now, these belts were standard, normally captured. German belts with the original buckles and then what they would do is they would fit various badges and items of insignia that they caught found on the battlefield. Uh, this example is a lovely example for the Prussian and it fitted with various state and uh, national cockades from field caps like similar to what we showed you earlier. This example is uh, again a similar scenario but this is a Saxon belt buckle this time and this one has been fitted with various uh, buttons from the German forces. And then the last one in the group is a Bavarian example of an all grass buckle having an infantry fest motto. And again, this example has got a mixture of cockades and original tunic buttons down on the battlefield. Again, these are very, very nice items that really signify the World War I and uh, the idea of collecting these souvenirs and bringing them back to the battlefield. This is Lance Cap helmet, also known as a Shatska. Now, the helmet has the original helmet plate, scale straps, bullion field cockade and a single right cockade. Um, what's nice with this helmet is it also has the original cap cords here. The interior of the helmet you will see has a very nice quality leather sweatband and green cloth lining. Again, these helmets are very, very rare, worn by the officers of the elite Ulan Lance regiments. Very, very nice helmet. During the First World War, the development of aerial warfare was very, very important and strategic. Now, here we have a very, very fine uh, Imperial German Prussian pilot's badge. But what makes it even more special is it has the original pilot's flying license. Now, this is a standard pattern license issued to all flyers from all nations have these. This one obviously particularly a German example of Deutschland in the front. Uh, what's nice about this one is as well, it was issued in 1917 to the pilot. A lovely photograph of him here sitting in his cockpit. Now, the badge itself is a very typical standard war issue Prussian pilot's badge here. But a pretty, pretty low quality example from the ones you do see when you try to purchase examples for earlier pilots. This is a very typical ordnance Now, the badge has the original pin fitting, but it has this little brass catch here which is the latest replacement. Very typical for these pilot badges to have the paper. Again, it's very, very nice to have this and having it with the original flying license is a really special item. The 
last two items we're going to feature in this video are these rather two Hessian other ranked pickle balls here. So here you have the typical standard uh, early war example of the grass mounts, uh, typical Hessian lion pattern helmet plate. Both have the state cockade, which is the non serrated type, very, very typical of Hessian helmets. Uh, and then you've got the later, what they're going to be, M15 helmet, which has the removable spike. The M15 example has the very typical Hessian type uh, cruciform cross base here for the spike fitting. Uh, both helmets have the original straps and both have the original liners. Uh, this example in particular I'm showing you now has a nice uh, imprint of the original owner's name written into the, into the back. Here. Again, very, very nice examples and uh, very, very rare to find nowadays state helmets in state of Hess, because it's such a small uh, state in Germany compared to ones like Russia. Very, very nice items that have been sold in old. Thank you for watching today's video. All these items are coming up in our auction on Friday, the 18th of October. You can bid live in the room at the Spa Hotel, Royal Tommy 12, Kent, England. Or if you are not able to make the auction day, you can bid live online through the soundroom.com. Full details of this and how to bid are placed on our website, which is www.cantauctions.co.uk. Once again, thank you for watching today's video. If you like the video, please press the like button and subscribe to our channel for more information and more details about what's coming up at CT Auctioneers and Valuers. Thank you for watching.